Hi guys, today we are going to be talking about an assistive piece of technology that can be used for people with visual impairment, specifically for soccer. Now one name for this piece of technology as seen on the screen here is the bell soccer ball and it is basically a soccer ball with jingling bells inside. So while on the outside it might look like a regular soccer ball, there are these little metal balls that are found inside a larger metal pouch and that essentially creates the jingling bell sound that you hear when the ball moves. And then these metal pouches are sewn or glued into the inside of the soccer ball and spread evenly apart. Now, depending on the soccer ball that you are looking at, these pouches can either be a total of two or six. In the case of this particular soccer ball, it would be two. And here is a sample of what the bell sound would make when the ball is actually in motion. Now, while this ball can be great for helping people with visual impairments to play soccer, there are still some considerations to keep in mind when the person is playing soccer. For the physical domain, one thing that is important to keep in mind is the physical abilities of this person. Um, with low visual impairment, there is a chance of still running into other people, even at, say, the World Cup for blind soccer. A lot of people will still run into each other, so it's important to keep in mind if they fall, are they able to get back up or do they need assistance? Um, do they have a physical disability that would hinder them from colliding with someone else to hurt them even more? Um, environmental, keeping in mind, again, because they are visually impaired, is the environment that they're playing in obstacle free? Um, what is the ground like? Are they playing on a soccer turf or are there any rocks or cones that they might run into or trip over? And also coming, going with that, what is the environment like sound wise? Is it loud or is it quiet enough for the people playing to be able to use their sense of hearing to actually hear the ball? And then for cognitive, do they have a good sense of direction? So are they able to orient themselves to understand where the ball is based on the sound? Are they able to focus on the sound? And then some solution ideas for the specific case study that this came from. Jamie is no vision in his right eye with deteriorating vision in his left eye. So a lot of his vision is very blurry. So as said earlier, finding a quieter place free from obstacles to play so he can hear the ball. And this particular place, piece of technology is great for Jamie because he does have that low deteriorating vision. But some of his goals include pursuing some of his favorite recreational activities from before he started to lose his vision, soccer being one of them. He also wanted to be able to participate in these recreational activities with independence and this ball would allow him to do so. He would not have as strong of a need for a sight guide for an activity like this. And he also would be able to remain physically active, which is one of his goals and soccer is a great physical activity. And even if he does lose his vision completely, he would still be able to utilize this piece of technology to help him play one of his favorite recreational activities, soccer.